Hello guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you are doing well. My last couple of Q&As had to be removed because they were talking about sensitive information, probably about like Seoul or something like that. I also noticed that the third season of Robert Don Entertainment hasn't had as many videos. What I mean by season is 2016 was a season, 2017 was a season and 2018 is the third season of the channel of the show. So I decided to spice it up a little bit and do another q and I will be doing a Christmas video where I unbox what I got for Christmas. There is one thing that isn't coming until the 20th because I know some of the stuff that I'm getting. It's not coming until the 20th so I'm not sure if I'm going to put it together with the Christmas video or make it a separate video. But we'll see. What I'm thinking is putting it together because it's one product but putting it together with the other products or whatever the case may be. But anyway, let's get on with the questions. I hope you guys will be doing well. Also with like tech and my final year of GCSEs and school um, and different things happening in my life. Probably why there's less videos. Also, I've been maybe lazier than last year. I don't know, but there will still be more videos on the channel. Don't worry. Anyway. My first question is, what made you start on YouTube and what struggles did you find? So, I started YouTube, believe it or not, whenever I was eight. Back then, YouTube was still popular, but it was kind of getting there. And I wanted to hop in the bandwagon, which is why I made a YouTube video. Because I love the idea of people making their own content that isn't on TV, that isn't produced by big corporate companies... Someone just making a, a video about whatever and they can get big off it. Of course I wasn't, I, I was kind of thinking that I was going to be big, but I ended up not really being that. But I just loved, you know, YouTube and I actually made a video, which I'll link below, reacting to my old YouTube channel. I was very passionate about it back then and I still am now. I was passionate for YouTube. I loved, I love expressing myself. I love... Getting my opinions and thoughts out there and being and entertaining people. There was actually someone a couple days ago as of recording this video who who told me that he subscribed to my channel and he's been watching my videos and they made him laugh and that is just really one of the big reasons why I do YouTube. To entertain people, to express my opinions, to rant, just to express me as a person. That's really what I love about YouTube. The struggles that I've had... Uh, my old channel isn't existing, if you want to look it up, by the way. Um, um, I removed it. I can't remember why, but it was a long time ago I removed it. I think it was because I was doing the new channel, and then this channel came to be. But I did recover some of my old videos. Like I said, I'd done a reaction video, link below. But I think the only struggles for me would be finding something to make a video about. And that isn't really a struggle in and of itself, because I could make a video about something I got, make a video about something in life. I think it's more so finding the time to make an a video. Because editing, depending on how long the video is, could take half an hour, an hour or two. Exporting, rendering, uploading the video. Not a big struggle, but one of the struggles would be finding the time. Especially today, now that I've got tech, now that I've got more things going on. Um, finding the time to upload. Don't really, I re haven't really had that many struggles that I can think of from the top of my head. I did get a lot of negative comments from like people at my school or whatever. And at the start, I didn't really handle them very well. You know, I was very sensitive about it. But now, I, I just, you know, learned to laugh. And I think one of the things I've learned to do in life is like laugh and like don't take everything too seriously, you know. But anyway, that's pretty much, I hope that answers your question. Another question I received is, how old am I? Whenever I first started doing tech, one of my now kind of close friends in tech thought that I was 40 with children. Like, <laughs> he legit thought I was older than what I actually am. And a lot of people do. I think it's because I'm, I'm shaving quicker, I look older, and with my foreign blood, I'm kind of like growing quicker and whatever. 
I I'm 17. October 3rd, a couple of months ago I turned 17, got my iPhone XS. Okay, so I really do like this question and it is, what is my favourite 2018 movie? My favourite 2018 movie was a horror film, or is a horror, whatever, called Ghostland, or Incident in a Ghostland. And it's about these two sisters and their mother that moved into this house. And there was these like stalker sort of weird people things that followed them into the house. And whenever they realised this van that they saw like driving had followed them to the house, to the new house. Shit started getting real and I don't want to say anything else. It's a really good movie. I'm a massive horror film fan. If you don't know by my Instagram bio... Um, or whatever, I, I review movies on Letterboxd. I'll put that specific movie review below in the description on Letterboxd. Because I think you can view it on desktop. It's a really good movie. It's, there's shocking things to it. There's a, there's this whole, like, different, like, time zones and different things. It's really creepy, it's sad, it's weird. There's a lot of character development with the sisters and the mother. There's a lot of, like, psychotic things going on. It's a really good movie. I believe it's a 15. Um, there's, it isn't really too bad. There is weird stuff going on. I, I It was about a month or two ago since I've seen it. Uh, but I don't think it's too graphic or whatever. But it's a horror film nonetheless. I'm a massive horror film fan. You could be, you couldn't be. But it it is a really, it is a really good movie. So... That's probably my favourite 2018 movie. I believe it was released in 2018. So I did get um, a number of questions from a friend of mine. And there's about six of them. Five, I can't count. The first one is, why is my hair black? So I did actually have an argument that people can be born with black hair. According to someone, they can't, it's dark brown. I used to think my hair was dark brown. People say it's jet black. Apparently, you can't be born with black hair. Probably whenever I'm 20, it's going to be grey, so I'm going to have to dye it black. I love having dark hair. I think it's black. I believe it's jet black. I'm, I've been conditioned to believe it's jet black. I think it's jet black. I love this hair colour, these brown eyes, this hair, this whatever. And it's because of my foreign blood, it makes it more common to have dark hair and dark eyes. Which is why I have darker hair. Because I'm mixed. I'm part Greek, Italian and Arabic. More so on my, gra on my mother's side. Because of her mother and my mum's mum and dad. And the whole family thing that went on. That's probably why it's dark brown. My hair. The second question is. What made me so in love with Apple? If you don't know. I recently got a MacBook. Well that was two years ago. But because I got a MacBook. AirPlay is a really bit is a really good feature. I've been watching Toulouse of Tech, who's a big Apple fan, and I kind of like learned all the features from him. I got an iPad because I wanted a tablet, and then I realized an iPhone would be a good companion to the iPad. So I got an iPhone. Uh, I'm getting an Apple Watch and an Apple TV. I think it's just I was sucked into the ecosystem because of the different features, like my shared photos library between each product. AirPlay is a big feature, um, AirDrop. AirPlay is doing your iPad or your Mac or your phone to the TV. And AirDrop is dropping videos or photos or documents you're working on from one device to another. So I'm AirDropping this video to my MacBook to edit it, for example. And AirDropping the photos and whatever. I think it's because the Apple products, in my opinion, are fun to use. Windows is boring. Um, different products are boring. Samsung phones got people say Apple phones are boring. I think Samsung phones are boring. iPhones are really fun to use. They're awesome. And I kind of just saw the light. I don't really have one definitive answer as to why I'm so in love with Apple. But it's just because I enjoy using their products. And I think Apple's philosophy um, is really, I agree. I don't believe Mac should have touch screens. I think that's stupid. I think Windows 10 is doing a lot of things stupidly. Um, iPhones get updated for longer. There's so I could be here for hours and hours and hours talking about why Apple products are my favourite. 
Long story short, the ecosystem. All the products working together, they're fun to use. They actually make me more productive. Editing YouTube videos on my MacBook, taking pictures. I'm more productive and I'm getting an Apple Watch. I'm more productive using Apple products. I love them, I'm more productive, whatever. The next question is, why is my nose so unique? And I think it runs in the family. My aunt's nose is ginormous. It's, it's really awful. She disagrees with that. I've learned to accept my nose. I think why my nose is so unique is because it runs in the family. My mum's side of things, my mum, I think it all comes down to like the, the foreign blood and also if you don't know I was born prematurely, I was born three weeks early so that's, that's probably why the nose is so so weird and my face is so messed up. But that's why. Also what age did I start growing my beard? I'd say around 15, 14, 15. I remember whenever the new Star Wars film came out, as in The Force Awakens, I think that was 2015. Back then, I remember my uncle, you know, having a laugh, um, thinking that Abby wanted the teachers there because I didn't shave yet. It's Again, it comes down to the foreign blood. I think around 14, 15, something like that, was whenever it really became apparent. I started shaving. I think around 16, I started actually shaving. Because my aunt was like, this is ridiculous. It needs to go. And my dad didn't want me to shave. And I wasn't sure if I should shave or not. But I, I do shave every week or a bit. It does grow back pretty quick. It is starting to come back now. That's the thing with that. The next question is, what is my favourite game? And um, that would definitely be, I, I love Minecraft, but I'm not going to say Minecraft. I do like more arcade, you know, retro st style sort of games. Because I believe new games, it's good how far technology has came. But I like more pick up and play games. I'm more of a semi-casual gamer. I'm getting more games for the PS4, but they're more fun, quick to play games. I don't like shooting games. Open world games are good. But this game I started to play... Super Destronaut DX, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's the first game that I got 100% trophies. It's not super hard, but I still got 100% trophies, so that's something. It's not too hard. It's kind of challenging the more you play it, but it's a really fun game. Basically, you're this um we like rocket, and you're shooting like the aliens, and... It's like a 2D sort of sort of um style and you're like dodging their bullets and you're shooting up to them. And it is a really fun game. I think anyone can pick it up and play it. Not sponsored. I will leave the link down below for PlayStation. I might leave the link to Xbox if I'm not lazy. Not sure what other consoles it's available on, but I'll try to do that down below. It is a really fun game to play. I recommend it to anyone. Um, I think there's there's multiplayer as well. It's a fun game. So there is that. And I do believe that is the end of the questions. This has been a pretty fun, somewhat different q and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe if I'm not lazy than I want to, I might go back to my old q and that I removed. And I might, like, remove the questions that are, like, could be seen as controversial and put it together. Only the decent questions are there. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in the whole Christmas thing, I might have it up during Christmas or afterwards depending on what my day's like. These past couple of years, I've been uploading them on Christmas, so I may have the time. Basically, I'll be unboxing what I've got for Christmas, and if I have any other news to share, I'll be sharing that with you guys. I hope you all are having a fantastic day, fantastic time. Stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, peace, guys. Have a good one. Da -da -da. Yay!